My sweet, beautiful children, I wish you swift grace. Swift grace to you. Today is the day we have long awaited, the day we shed our human vessels and ascend to Hepta. Today, we enter into a new and wonderful universe far away from this dark and crumbling Gomorrah of a planet we mistakenly call home, Earth. I fucking hate Earth. We are not our bodies. We are not this flesh. We are not our bones. Discard everything. For we are immortals bound by ash to ash. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm sorry, I'm weak. <laughs> Do not be afraid, beautiful child. Oh, I love this shit. Fuck yeah. Why don't you show some respect, huh? Swift Grace. Oh, Swift Grace, asshole. Swift Grace. Swift Grace. Swift Grace forever. Swift Grace. Swift Grace. Teacher's pet. I'm just getting extra credit. No, Swift but what did he say to you? Jen. Jen. He doesn't even like you, so why don't you shut up with somebody else about something? Debbie, don't fucking start with me. I don't care that your husband's a cop. Shut up. I'm turning my fat ass around. But all of us are bound by divine love. I now invite my heavenly wives to join me at my sacred altar. You should be up there. Thanks, Sandy. I now invite my heavenly husbands to join me at my sacred altar. It's a beautiful ceremony. Shut up, Trevor. I mean, pay attention, Kala's up there. Looking fucking fit like Aaron Eckhart. Oh, yeah. Let us now gather to the waiting area. Children, now is the time to escape these vessels and ascend to Hepta. Swift Grace. Swift Grace. Swift Grace. Oh, God. Swift Grace. Swift Grace, you fucking loser. Fortify your earthly bodies with the nutrients required to make the long journey home. Swift Grace. Swift Grace. Swift Grace, definitely. I want to play in my own puddle of Mars dust. Hey, Jan. Well, what are you doing? You look so nice and like refreshed, so spiritually unencumbered. I'm not telling you what he said to me. Well, don't be a bitch, Jan. Just tell me what he said. It was completely unique and personal to me. If you're afraid, you can go talk to Kala. Well, I'm not. Because this is the best day of my life. What? As someone who was afraid, who it's no longer afraid. You seem like you're afraid. Well, you just said the word afraid three times. Maybe you're well, still afraid, maybe. No, I'm not. Well, me neither. <laughs> so. Great. I'm not talking to him on that comment. Swift grace. <laughs> anyway, I just left everything to my ex-wife and my kids. Ex-kids. I don't think anybody's going to be looking for me. I doubt my brothers or my dad even knows. Oh, that. people will definitely be looking for me. Melody was speaking. Truth be told, Kala's only getting 50% of my 401k. 50%? That's half. I'm giving Kala around all of my savings. Hmm. That's powerful. But money isn't everything. Oh, love is. 
love is everything. Love is the greatest currency there is, you know? And, and if where we're going, if love is the currency, uh, then I'm the richest fan here because I love each and every one of you. I love you, Melody. You and I love you, Rory. I love you, Elliot and Scott and Keith and Cindy and Martina and Jacob. S uh, I don't know his name, but he's been here for a while. Wow, that sounds like a lot. 50% of my 401k is $450,000. Still not 100%, so. What's 100% of your life saving, Sandy? 0% of your fucking business, Elliot. <laughs> What's up with your sweatsuit, anyway? I mean, seriously, <laughs> look at this thing. What about it, dude? It's the same as yours. Yeah, what is that, a boy's large? <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, actually, oh, that's right. It's an extra small size. Hmm. Oh, wait. That's actually your condom size because your dick sucks. Get it while it's there. Yeah. His dick is dead as Dillinger. Yeah. His D is deficient like Ricketts yeah. because you can't satisfy a woman with that dick. Yeah. Get that first strike in there, hit him with a Siobhan dragon, cast him into the plains of Phyrexia. <laughs> what are you, 12? <laughs> yeah, who brought the Make-A-Wish, right? Mm -mm. This no, time, though. No. He's got you. <laughs> you are choking so bad socially. I know, I, I know, it just came out. They're gonna hate you. Might be a lonely comet for you, hombre. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Oh shit. Must be go time. Let's do this. Oh, actually, can you hold on to this for me? I'm gonna go find Melody. Knuckles are supposed to crack there. Ah, uh, boom, go. Swift Grace Dibs. Oh my gosh, Sandy. Hey, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Is it bleeding? I usually oh, bleed. It's not a big deal. Mm, no, you look fine. Hey, so real quick, I was just wondering. Uh, I thought maybe when when we get up to Hapta, you and me could kind of kick it, you know, like uh, find ourselves in a little private crater somewhere, you know, whatever. Just drink a little, smoke a little. None of the hard stuff. I mean, I'm open to it though, for sure. Sandy. What's up? Why do you have to be like this? What, like super tight? Stop! Just be real, please. You don't always have to be the loudest guy in the room. Look, before all this, I used to think that I had to be everything for everyone. But Kala Ryan has shown me that I'm enough. You are enough, Sandy. You've got this big heart inside of there. I wonder what would happen if you actually let someone see it. Hmm? I've seen it. God, shut up, Trevor. Thanks for saving my bunk, Mel. Uh, I called dibs, everybody heard it. Well, I'm here now and I'm a husband, so I outrank you. Well, then why don't you go be with your husband then? Oh, I was with my husband, biblically. Ooh. But I never stayed the night. Boom, let me get a whiff of that. What? I said, let me get a whiff of that. No, dude. Fuck. Yeah. Hey. Sandy. That's it. Come on, Sandy. I found a great place. Ah, uh, go alone. I'll see you up there, okay? You will, because we'll be together forever. I don't mean us, just, just us forever, but we'll see how you feel. I care about you, but I want to explore options. Let's keep let's keep it open when we're up there. We'll, we don't have to be exclusive. Children, the comet is upon us. Drink now or you will miss the journey. Swift Grace. Swift Grace. Swift, Swift Grace. Grace. Swift Grace to you. Hey, Sandy. Hey, what? 
Sorry for giving you shit, man. I really think you're a cool dude. Just remember, guys, you can't take your nutrients with each other's dicks in your mouths. We're all gonna end up in the same place, Elliot. Maybe, but when we get up there, everyone's gonna see you for exactly what you are. Because I see your black heart, Elliot. I see you skulking around this house like a ghost with your black heart. And up there, everyone's gonna know that you're a coward, and that you're a fraud, and that you're terrified. I hope you get lost in space forever! Hope you get lost in space forever. Good retort. <laughs> that was sick. Melody just taught me this great lesson about inner strength and when to be the bigger man. And oh my gosh, it's like I have my doctorate in humanity thanks to Melody. <laughs> she's a, she's a genius, and I can't wait to keep learning from her. You know, I wasn't gonna say anything. But you definitely seem different. Congratulations on all your achievements. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're right. <gasps> to my achievements. Bottoms up. Oh, oh my gosh! No! Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Why is it? Uh, this is I'm so sorry. No, so sorry. No, no. Oh, no! I'm so sorry. Dude. You idiot! You I'm stupid sorry. Trevor, look what, what? you did! <laughs> no. Dude, split by it. Split by it. Yeah, I'll split it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna split it. How about I strand you on this stupid, disgusting planet? No! No! Oh, no, 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 there's maybe half. Maybe half. You don't even deserve that, <laughs> shithead. No, now I gotta go find more! Thank you so much. Go! I didn't mean to barge into the marital bedroom, I just said, get to talk to you about the nutrients because we ran out and we really need your help. Where I'm, I am, I'm afraid. Sandy, here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh me too. Are you feeling anything? I'm having a lot of stomach pain. And I'm so tired. Everything's mad chill. Everything's good. Everything's chill. Everything's good. Everything's chill. If she was my daughter, I'd be so proud of her. But I also want to have sex with her. I'm here with you. Me too, Trev.
Sandy. <laughs> Trevor. <sighs> what? Wait, we're going to have to. I don't think so. <laughs> no. No, 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 I did everything I was supposed to do. I, 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 I delivered my heartfelt goodbyes. I cast off my earthly possessions. I was supposed to be on a fucking comet right now. Do you think maybe there's a reason we didn't send? Maybe we're supposed to be here to make the earth better. Oh, uh, make the earth better? Earth, this place fucking sucks! That's why I was leaving, to go and be with Melody, and to finally impress my dad, and... I was gonna matter. Everything was gonna be better. No, you, you had to go and spill my fucking nutrients! <laughs> now I have nothing. That's not fair. You know, it's not fair. I was gonna have everything I ever wanted. A girlfriend, and a group of friends, and inside jokes that the friends tell. I was gonna be in, you know? <laughs> now I'm just a fat idiot, alone, surrounded by dead people. I lost everything too. <laughs> We'll figure this out together because that's what best friends do. I hate you. Maybe we're on the comet, you know? Maybe we're just going on our way up. This is like a freight elevator or some shit. We're not just here. Yeah, I figured that was. Hey, do you mean what you said earlier? Probably. What did I say? <sighs> Think about me being your best friend. <sighs> Am I yours? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Elliot. You look terrible. Hepta! He sees Hepta! Ah, uh, gross. I guess this is ascending. We should have asked a lot more questions. I mean, really? Hey, what? <laughs> Oh, uh, I know. Okay, so you and I never really saw eye to eye, right? Because you're an asshole and I'm, I'm pretty chill, but... You know, here's what I'm thinking. You're a straight shooter, and I always respected that about you, right? So... So I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you get up there, okay? Because I'm a man. And that's what men do. They, they, they help their family, and you're... You're my family, man. Who? Nope, let me finish. Hey, you want to know a secret? I want you on that fucking comet. Because when I get up there, and I'm getting up there, I'd like to buy you a space beer and shake your hand. Maybe you and me can start this whole thing all over again. See you soon, Elliot. Save us a couple seats.
Do you spin on him? Yeah. Nice. What are you doing? Passed out with his shoes on. When I first heard Kala speak, it was like he was speaking to me. Anything that I was confused about in my life, he could answer. He fully understood who I was, who I could be. Kala is my father. Kala is my mother, my grandfather, my grandmother, my aunt, my uncle. He is my everything, my world. How are you feeling? Good. I think it's the first family I've been a part of where there's like violence isn't a thing. So that's pretty cool. It is cool. I have a purpose and it's something that I've waited my entire life for. This life is is not right. What we're doing is so right. I, I was nervous to let my mom go, but I know I've made the right choice and I have a new family and I'm I'm ready to be in a new vessel and shed all of this. It does break my heart that we can't, we can't bring everyone we want to bring, um, but no one can be forced. So. You've got to let go. You just got to hope that maybe they'll come to the realization sometime on their own, and and hopefully maybe there'll be a second chance someday. I. I like to hope that. I don't think that's true. Kyle has made it pretty clear that this is our time to go, but it's hard. It sucks to think that I'm gonna leave everybody and that's it for them. We're cowards. <laughs>